Your A's get your itch, your boy time back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about college football 25 and the announcement that kind of came out today, or I don't even want to say announcement, but EA Sports officially on their website has a countdown timer for when more information is going to come out. We also see on PlayStation, the College Football 25 uh, Deluxe Edition in here as well, where you guys can see, you know, Donovan Edwards, uh, Quinn Ewers, uh, Travis Hunter, Judkins, Milrow, all these guys uh, on the cover as well, which, you know, guarantees them obviously in the game, guarantees transfers are updated as well. So the timer, it looks like on to next Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern time is when the reveal for more info comes out. It's when EA Sports College Football 25 news comes out, which I do believe is, is, is something that is super important to kind of make note of, considering everything's kind of been airtight from NCAA football. You know, the news, there hasn't really been any crazy leaks, anything like that. But I mean, I think that everybody should be super hyped about everything that is to come and you guys can even see the graphics i mean they look outstanding and i know this 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 doesn't show a whole ton there's a couple more uh pictures that i can i could show through here but i mean you can see just like the graphics here if you look at each player specifically you know their arm sleeves like donovan edwards what what are, what are those things to to the, the to help the turf burns like they have all these things you know and and, and they look, they look basically exactly like they will on the field and I think we got to remember, everybody thinks about college football and hypes it up to the moon. But like, that was NCAA football 14. Think about how much better this game is going to be than NCAA football 14. From graphics to, uh, you know, how the players look to, to how the game is, is ran. Like, everything is going to be so much better now compared to back then. And again, everybody remembers NCAA football uh, 14 as being so, so, so great. And here you guys can even see, you know, Notre Dame, for example. You guys, look, look at number 58, right? Look at the sunlight reflecting off his helmet. Those small things are going to matter so, so much. You guys can even look at the fans in this stance. You know, each fan has their own, own thing. And I know it's, it's crazy considering an NCAA football 14. Those things really weren't obviously uh, a big deal back then but now those things matter so much you can see number 45 in the front with that uh left arm sleeve all of these players are gonna have their own uh things whether it's a towel whether it's an arm sleeve you know uh, wrist tape all of those different things to fit their own thing now one important thing I do want to touch on, Deluxe Edition. We might see uh, three different versions. Who knows? Maybe Donovan Edwards, Travis Hunter, Quinn Edwards will be on uh, specific versions of the standard game. But maybe we'll see a, you know, a version above the Deluxe Edition as well. Now, what is going to be the differences uh, in between the Deluxe, between the you know normal version? You might be able to get the game slightly sooner. That's sometimes what you see between different versions of the game. Like Maybe you'll be able to get it two days sooner, something like that. Also, in-game purchases, in-game uh, currency. Like, that is something you might be able to, you know, upgrade your Road to Glory player faster. You might be able to use it on Ultimate Team. Those types of things uh, that I think, again, when, when we get more details, I can talk about what version I do think is the best option for you guys out there, uh, you know, in, in the community. But, you know, it, it's I think it's good to have different versions of the game because even for me, like, if I want to build my ultimate team up, maybe it is worth me getting the best version of the game, especially if I can get the game earlier. Now, again, for me, I'm an Iowa fan. I, I, I see an Iowa flag in the background there. You guys can see it, man. Those types of things just get me super pumped. It's been 10 years, over 10 years, since the last time we saw an NCAA football game. I can look it up right now, NCAA football 14 re release date, to see uh, when we saw it. We saw it on July 9th, 2013. Let that sink in. July 9th, 2013, almost 11 years have went by since our last NCAA football game. It's crazy. The graphics look to be absolutely fantastic, crisp we were what we've seen in uh so far from the announcing crews look absolutely fantastic i think one of the best parts about college football specifically is the game day atmosphere and whether it's this picture whether it is this picture it looks like the game day atmosphere is going to be one of the best parts about this game and something that i hope 
you know, EA and college football hits on, at, 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 you know, a big time high level. So just some things that, that do get me excited. Five days away from finding out more about this game. And, um, and really the countdown's on. The countdown is going to be on. We'll probably get, you know, obviously we, we have a speculative uh, date of, of what, mid-July for when it, NCAA football is supposed to come out. That's basically two months away. Two months away from what could be, in my opinion, the most game-breaking game in a long time. Because who doesn't like college football? I feel like everybody likes college football. It's a new game because obviously, you know, you have the Maddens, you have the, all, all those other games, but from year to year, they're just kind of rinse and repeat. This is something that's not that. This is something that's a new game for the first time in 11 years. 11 years. So again, for me personally, I think it's super exciting. I wish we had more like screenshots to go over and talk about, but this screenshot alone or, or this thing here alone is, is crazy, man. It is, is crazy. It says release coming soon. There's no price or anything on the game. But I think, you know, just looking at Travis Hunter specifically, look at how crisp those graphics look. And again, the last time we, we played NCAA football, there, there was no names uh, on, on the players, anything like that. So I think, you know, we've came such a long ways from where we were back then, from not only a graphic standpoint, but from, a, from a, you know, just, just, you know, NIL, uh, player rights, uh, those types of things as well, which should just make the game way, way, way better. And I know for all you guys out there that are college football fans, the anticipation is definitely there as well. I'm eager to see, like, again, how expensive it is. Probably $70 for the standard version. Maybe there's like a $100 version, and then maybe like, what, a $150 version. So we see sometimes from different sports games. And again, if you just want the game for what it is, the $70 version is probably more than okay. But I am so, so excited for the reveal coming in basically, what is it? I, I, I'll check it out at the time I'm recording this. Five days, 22 hours, 44 minutes, 13 seconds. At the time I'm recording this, by the time you guys see it, it's obviously a little later than that. But that's when the big news is coming out for College Football 25 that I am super eager and super excited to uh, to find out more about. And you guys should be too. Like this game, I think is going to be absolutely crazy. And definitely a, a much needed just sports game. I feel like, again, all the sports games are rinse and repeat. And this is going to be something different from a graphics perspective to a, to a using your favorite player, favorite teams, from creating your own player in the road to glory. Whatever approach you want to take to the new game, I think it is so, so, so exciting. And again, if you are a Michigan fan for Donovan Edwards, a Colorado fan for Travis uh, Hunter, uh, uh, Judkins for Ohio State, obviously, uh, Jalen Milrow for Alabama, this should get you so, so, so pumped and so excited seeing the graphics seeing how cool this truly does look. So that's all for me today, guys. Just wanted to let you guys know in the PlayStation Store, guys, you can see EA College Football 25 Deluxe Edition is in here. And again, you can't really see a whole lot in here. Obviously, again, there's going to be more to come. But for us right now, this is all we got. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments, guys. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.